All right, all right, I know it's complete blasphemy. I know, complete blasphemy. Believe it or not, my first running hat of my entire life is actually white. It's not green. This is a North Face running hat. I love this hat. I just don't wear it too much anymore, but uh, when you can't find your old green hat, you gotta resort to other uh, options, if you know what I mean. All right, clean it up after Christmas. Clean it up. <laughs> All right. In addition to organizing the house, we're doing a little rearranging, kind of some early, early spring cleaning, I would say, and it feels so good just to keep it simple. Um, but in addition, I am organizing video files, and so you probably have noticed that I really like B-roll in order to help tell the story in the daily vlog. Well, uh, in order to do that, you need to make sure all of your video files are very, very well labeled and organized even on the outside with the different external hard drives. And this is just, these are just four, these are four terabytes each, one of these external hard drives. And I have filled up two and a half of them basically in the last five months, six months. So there's a lot of different moving parts in order to make the daily vlog uh, as entertaining to watch as possible through engaging B-roll like you're seeing on your screen right now. All right, all right, that's all we're trying to do here. That's all we're trying to do here. I, I promise, I promise I did not ask for neon green. I did not ask for this color. They just arrived this color. It's amazing. It's a miracle. Oh, love the color. Heading out for the run. Heading out for the run. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right, taking the On Cloud X shoes out for their first spin. And basically these shoes arrived yesterday. I am remaining optimistic. And yes, I will say it, bullish about these running shoes. Bullish, I say. They feel real nice. All right, let's go. gonna go uh, two to three miles today I think I'm gonna get pretty close to 40 miles for the week which is perfect I want it to be in that 30 to 40 mile range for this week so I think uh, probably a little over 35 for the week so that's good just uh, more importantly 
focusing on the strengthening exercises, the suppleness, the flexibility, all in my legs. And uh, obviously today you saw me really focused on mini plyometrics, meaning is walking through my house, doing different exercises designed to, uh, yeah, just strengthen my legs, my tendons, my Achilles, my fascia, uh, my soleus, all of those muscles down there. So anyway, that's the goal for today. Really, another goal is basically just to loosen the legs up a little bit so when I get back home, I can stretch and uh, roll out, all that good stuff. So anyway, and I do have a few first impressions about these shoes, the On Cloud X shoes. I'll share them with you back at the shed. Anyway, just a nice relaxing Sunday with the family. Hope you had a great weekend, because I know this is a publishing Monday, 5 a.m. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man. All right, Daniel, which snowman is taller? <laughs> Daniel is a part of the YouTube family here on this channel, and he uh, sent me a photo of he and his family building a snowman, and I must say, it was pretty tall, but uh, ours is still looking pretty good, not too shabby. Wow. veggies huh even better okay. right runners well, there you go butter my veggies <laughs> oh there it is uh -huh. mm -hmm. no, guys go entertain michael and here we go here we go just been uh, reviewing my calendar over the last five to ten minutes looking for the uh, upcoming week what the training is going to look like the mileage goals the uh, lifting when the lifting is going to happen if I'm going to do hill work or not. And so, I don't know. I always like on Sunday night to get a overview of the upcoming week of training. So, I've just been doing that. It's looking good. I think I'm going to go up high a little bit, up high a little bit. All right. Let's dive into these running shorts real quick. I just have to mention them. And yes, they are down below. The company is called Arsuxio. Arsuxio. A R S U X E O. And when I purchased these last summer, I thought I made a mistake, a big, big mistake, because they're kind of heavy and definitely warm for the summertime. Basically, this liner provides a little bit of extra warmth for my upper hamstrings. And when I am running like 6.30 pace for 15 miles on a hard long run, uh, my hamstrings, my, especially my upper hamstrings, can get a little tight. And so anyway, just wanted to mention these shorts for a good winter option short. Not summer, but I love them. Arsuxio. Can I, put, can I pronounce it that way? They're down below. Okay, and one last point before we dive into these shoes. The Zero shoes, I walked around in the house today. I loved them. They were really comfortable. Will I run in them? Probably not. Probably not. I'm just calling a spade a spade. But I tell you what, I was kind of shocked 
at how comfortable they were. And again, it's a zero drop and it's, I, you know, I would use this shoe to build calf strength, Achilles tendon strength, and just overall nimbleness in the foot. And I tell you, I don't know. I wore them for probably two to three hours and they felt amazing. And yes, I forgot to mention yesterday, they have a 5,000 mile outsole warranty. So they are Say, they're basically staking their claim that if the outsole wears out before 5,000 miles, you can get them replaced. So that's kind of amazing. Moving onward to everybody who chimed in to yesterday's question of the day about the Strava Group name. They're amazing. Keep them coming. Uh, a lot of people, you know, voting for Demore Demary or something or Butter My Bread or SJD. Uh, a couple people really came up with some creative ones. So what I'm going to do is compile them into a big list. I'm going to think about them and oh yeah, one last point for everyone outside the US, which there's so many of you, thank you for watching from around the world. I definitely am hearing your voice about including some component of globalness in the name of the running group, the Strava group. Like, listen, I realize like you guys are watching literally from every continent around the world. And so I believe that will be integrated somehow. So thank you for commenting on that question of the day. I am reading them right now and let's move on real briefly i don't want this is not even going to be my first impression i just want to talk real briefly about the on cloud x which arrived yesterday it's a six millimeter drop uh my shoe is weighing in at seven ounces on the scale but for an eight and a half men's they're advertising it at eight ounces so that's seven to eight ounce range uh let's see so 213 215 grams approximately and i am really really excited about the upper on this on cloud shoe. Now today, I will say the shoe felt a little stiff through the outsole. So this hard rubber right here, I am feeling it quite a bit. Like it's a pretty hard landing on the forefoot. As far as the heel and the midfoot, feels great. But I am feeling a little bit of stiffness through the forefoot landing. I, as I was running and I realized I did not go far today, I was telling myself, wow, this would be a great six to eight mile tempo shoe where I want to go fast on concrete, on pavement, and just get a nice fast tempo run in. Um, but as far as a long run, probably not. Slow, no, it didn't feel good today. Slow, but like a nice temp. I could, I was even thinking to myself, you could do a track workout in this shoe if you didn't want to beat your legs up as much in spikes. Like if you wanted a nice, good traction, lightweight, trainer uh this could be an option like anyway just it did feel good but i must say it feels a little uh hard through the through the uh the forefoot so those are just not, not even my first impressions i'll keep putting miles into them and let you know what i think okay one last point to update you on oh ladies and gentlemen the marathon oh the marathon it's been a doozy trying to figure this whole marathon business out i feel pretty experienced with uh, ultra running and like where to run ultra races around the country at what time depending on the year and what are the big races how do you get into them you know via lottery like Western States and Hard Rock and Leadville and oh my goodness all these big big races but marathon racing on the roads is uh, it's a whole nother animal so uh, grandma's I'm leaning away from it I'm now leaning away from it and I've just been doing a little thinking about my training blocks, um, and not because I'm not getting into the, into the elite field, more just the training blocks. I'm thinking it's going to be a little too late into the summer. So it's June 22nd, and I think in order to maintain my fitness for as, I just think it's too big of a block. Um, anyway, I've just been thinking a lot about the last 10 days. So I think grandma's is probably off the table. I'm now looking at Eugene Marathon in Eugene, Oregon. Um, this, this marathon in New Jersey, I forget the name of it exactly. It's, I think it's just called the New Jersey marathon, but it has a sponsor. And then what I'm really, really looking at is, I know who thought, who would have thunked it, but I might run my first marathon in Cleveland, Ohio. I know it's crazy. It's May 17th or 18th and, or maybe 19th. And basically it's pretty flat course, not completely, but it's pretty flat. Uh, a lot of the winners in the last five years have run about 215, 216, and I want to break 220-ish. In fact, two years ago, there was eight guys who ran under 220. So that's like exactly where I want to be. If I can, you know, attempt to go with that pack, that would be my goal. So 
Yeah, believe it or not, like, and uh, yeah, anyway, so I'm, I think as far as the training blocks and everything else, I think it might work out better. And so I will let you know as soon as I hit that register button, but uh, there's a chance it could be the Cleveland Marathon. And then of course, if, you know, let's say I run 223 in Cleveland or who knows what I'll run, I don't know, but I would love to make another attempt at a marathon in the fall, whether it whether it's New York City or CIM out in Sacramento, right? In Sacramento, I believe it starts there. And so CIM is like a really fast course where a lot of guys and ladies go to qualify. So that's kind of my, you know, second backup plan for the fall marathon. On to the keyword and the question of the day and oh my goodness. Every day, I just take a little moment, whether it's on my run or just sitting in my house or working in the yard or who knows what, like I just am um, contemplating life and trying to uh, think about you and think you, everyone out there watching and you're everywhere around the world and just think about like, what are, what are these people experiencing literally around the world and especially uh, as runners? and. So I always try to be as creative as possible with the questions of the day, and I know some of them might seem a little repetitive at times, but I really do put time and, and, and thought into each one in order to create uh, discussion amongst ourselves. And I think it's catching, like a couple days ago, the comments just started taking off where people were answering each other, and it was amazing. So anyway, thank you again, as always, for attempting to think about the question of the day and if you have time to comment below it really means a lot and i think the community here it means a lot to them as well so today's question of the day first of all the keyword is youtube that's right youtube and so the question of the day is other than this youtube channel and thank you for being here once again who else on youtube that focuses on running do you watch regularly if not every single upload that they make and maybe that qualifies them as their favorite as your favorite youtuber in the running space but i am fascinated to hear your thoughts on like yeah because there's so many different runners out there and running youtube channels and i probably know about three percent of all the running youtube channels out there so thank you for thinking about it what youtube channel do you watch that's running focused and why and like why do you like that channel okay oh my goodness all right that is it thank you again thank you again for sending shoes and uh you're just uh you're amazing you're all amazing all right see beauty work hard oh we're in for a good week just so you know this is gonna be a good week coming up you better believe it and love each other see you tomorrow hmm.